The push button shift selector features reverse, neutral, and drive buttons, up and down arrow buttons, a mode button, and a dual digit digital display window that identifies range, diagnostic codes, and oil levels. When you start the engine on your vehicle, the transmission's computer automatically selects neutral, and the digital display window shows NN for neutral. Select a gear, reverse or drive, by pushing the R or D button. The first number displayed is the highest forward range available, and the second number is the current range attained. The transmission will engage the lowest available forward gear. As you continue to drive, the transmission automatically selects gears based on engine RPM, throttle position, vehicle load, and road speed. Let's look at how to access some of the unique features available with the Allison Automatic Shift Selector. Allison Automatic Transmissions automatically make gear selection based on engine speed and load. However, you can manually control the upshifts and downshifts when it's necessary for safe driving in traffic or in certain road conditions. By pushing the up or down arrow keys on the keypad, you can upshift or downshift one gear at a time. The transmission will not allow you to select a range that will overspeed the engine. This helps avoid damage to the drivetrain. To downshift, gently release the pressure on the throttle and then press the down arrow on the keypad. This allows the engine to help slow down the vehicle one gear at a time. This is most useful if you are traveling down a steep grade or on slippery road conditions such as ice, snow or rain. Each time you push the down arrow, you will drop down one gear. Selecting a lower range often prevents cycling between ranges on a series of short up and down hills. To upshift, increase pressure on the throttle and push the up arrow key once for each upshift to a higher gear. This will help you attain your cruising speed. You can also push the D button. The transmission will automatically upshift into the highest attainable range based on engine speed and load. On motorhomes and general delivery trucks, Allison Automatics can offer primary and secondary shift schedules to enhance performance or fuel economy. The vehicle always starts in the primary mode. If your vehicle operates in the performance mode as the primary shift schedule, your secondary shift schedule will be economy mode and vice versa. Your secondary shift schedule will be identified on your shift selector. In the economy mode, the transmission shifts gears at lower engine speed to allow the engine to operate in a more fuel-efficient range. You can switch to either the performance or the economy secondary shift schedule by pushing the mode button. In the performance mode, the transmission upshifts at higher engine speed. This gives you quick acceleration so you can effectively merge into traffic or onto a freeway. The performance mode provides the needed power for a longer period of time in each range. On utility, fire emergency, refuse and other specialized trucks, the mode button may be used to activate PTO functions, disallow forward reverse range when the PTO is in operation, or to operate hydraulics. These functions are offered in special vocational programming packages tailored to truck usage. Your Allison Automatic also may be equipped with an oil level sensor so you can identify the level of fluid in your transmission from the comfort of the driver's seat. Levels are identified in the digital display window on the shift selector. To enter the oil level display mode, put the transmission in neutral, apply the parking brake, and simultaneously press the up and down arrow buttons. The fluid level reading may be delayed until the following conditions are met. 
The fluid temperature is between 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and 104 degrees Celsius, 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The transmission is in neutral. The vehicle has been stationary for approximately two minutes to allow fluid to settle. The engine is at idle. Below 1,000 RPM, not a fast idle. The oil level data is displayed in the range window. OL followed by OK means the fluid level is correct. OL followed by LO, then 01, means the fluid level is one quart low. OL followed by H1, then 01, means the fluid level is one quart above the full transmission level. Additional fault codes may be encountered. Please refer to the Allison Shift Selector Operation and Code Manual for a complete listing of these codes. The electronic control system of your Allison Automatic is programmed to inform the operator of a problem with the transmission system and automatically alert the operator. When the electronic control system detects a condition, it registers a diagnostic code. To enter the diagnostic mode, bring the vehicle to a complete stop. Apply the parking brake and then simultaneously press the up and down arrows twice if your transmission is equipped with the oil level sensor. Push once if your transmission is not equipped with the oil level sensor. The display will show two dashes if the diagnostic cycle was performed and no problems were found. If codes are present, the grouping of code positions will display in the gear range window. The code list position is the first item displayed. Followed by the main diagnostic trouble code. And then the subcodes. Each item is displayed for about one second. The display cycles continuously until the next code list position is accessed by pressing the mode button. Up to five codes can be stored. If a listed code is active, the LED indicator next to the mode button will be illuminated. Consult your shift selector operation and code manual to identify the codes displayed. To clear both inactive and active codes, push and hold the mode button for approximately 10 seconds. The LED indicator flashes when the code clears. In the event of transmission failure, the transmission will fail to a given range, so you will be able to continue to drive the vehicle to safety.